Welcome guys to another cargo ship vlog. Yes, it is actually about to be nighttime and it's weird that I'm starting the vlog right now, but I wanted to show you guys, we've been out at sea filming a bunch of different videos for you guys, but right now we are coming over to our last stop. We are arriving in Italy right now. Check this out. This is the country of Italy behind me and then the island of Sicily over there. There's actually a narrow gap right in between them that we're going to pass through with the cargo ship about a mile wide. We've had pretty horrible weather all day because it's been just rainy and stormy. But we're arriving right now in Italy and it has been the most amazing payoff. We just had a beautiful sunset and we're going to watch this passage happen. This is our last night. Tomorrow we are officially leaving to begin our Italian adventures. Hugh and I are going to be going on a bunch of little adventures here in the country. And yeah, it's going to be sick. Guys, check it out. That's the gap that we're about to go through. That is crazy. Clats from Salerno, Italy. We have just docked for the last time here on the cargo ship after what was the worst, the single worst night of my life, I believe. We were in the worst storm I could ever imagine. But yeah, we have just pulled into dock in this beautiful city. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this is where Hugh and I get off and begin our Italian adventure together. Arrivederci, eh? Arrivederci. First, let's go have some breakfast for the last time on this wonderful ship. Alrighty, so we have just been told by our steward here on the ship that it is time to disembark in about one hour. So we are going to quickly pack up the mess that we've created, especially after the storm of last night. Put it in our bags and then get ready to head off the ship. It's kind of sad. But uh, but it'll be good. More adventures to come. All right, it's time to say bye to everything. Unfortunately, bye room, bye bathroom, bye hallway, bye weird door that never really worked right, bye staircase that was always too hard to climb because it was so windy, bye bridge, bye lifeboat one, bye lifeboat two, bye exhaust, bye crane, bye muster station, bye dining room, goodbye chill out room, bye TV, goodbye diagrams of the ship, goodbye weird little mini kitchen, goodbye coffee machine, goodbye you little delicious Italian donuts, goodbye pizza, goodbye gym, goodbye foosball table, goodbye laundry room, goodbye really annoying sound, goodbye outer deck, goodbye parking garage, goodbye scary uh, enormous staircase of death, goodbye cargo containers, goodbye entrance to the cargo ship, goodbye cargo ship. This is one of the most beautiful cargo ports I've been to. Look at these mountains behind us with the freaking giant bridges and stuff. It's incredible. Class, so one of the guys that was actually traveling with us, he actually has been traveling around the world in a van for the last five years, and he's going to be driving us. He's going to be giving us a ride uh, to somewhere here in Italy. We don't know exactly where we're going. The plan is like zero because we haven't had internet. So yeah, we're going to hop in this Mercedes van that's been around the world and uh, take a ride. Guys, this is Jose. Thank you so much for taking us. Bye -bye. <laughs> Hey, yeah, we're gonna head on in. If you remember when we introduced Hugh, he's all about van life, and so this for him is like <laughs> quite the adventure. We thought we were gonna be able to see the van, but now we're getting to ride in it, and Hugh is like all excited. This is an amazing car, look at this thing. Guys, check out this amazing van. <laughs> we are going to take a ride across the Italian border now and enter Italy. You heard that? We just entered Italy and uh, we actually did it without any passports. They didn't check us. No, a single passport. So that just proves the point that I was making on these series. But we are now officially in Italy and we are heading off the Italian coast. Wow, guys. <laughs> check this out. This is un freaking believable oh my god i was just telling you in the car this is surreal this entire experience has been nuts this is travel this is adventure this is what it feels like guys this is for real like this is the experience look where we are right now you this is insane it's amazing look at there's a freaking pirate ship over there 
All right, so we should probably give you guys the lowdown of what we're planning on doing. We're currently hitchhiking with Jose to, we're thinking the Amalfi Coast, correct? We're not sure exactly where we're gonna get off. We have a train in six days, I believe, to London, leaving from Naples in Italy. And we're about, so we're just trying to, we're gonna try to adventure around this area here in Italy. We're not sure exactly what we're gonna do, but uh, it should be quite an adventure because we have no idea where we're going. So let's see, let's see what happens, I guess. Welcome to Italy. We're off the cargo ship, Bonjour. and we're gonna give you guys our kind of final thoughts on this whole journey. It was a wild one, isn't it? <laughs> it was it was pretty chill uh, up until the last night, and then it got uh, intense, to say the least. And you guys, if you're watching this, you would have already seen. And I kind of talked about it today in the morning. We've just been at sea, you know, it was like a relaxing kind of experience. We filmed a lot of videos. We're kind of running around the ship trying to get, gather as much info. Definitely on this trip specifically for me, um, it felt like I was denied <laughs> entering a lot of the areas of the ship, like the cargo bay and the car park. Uh, so we kind of snuck around those things in the beginning until they caught us making that dancing video and they were like, <laughs> no more for you guys. You got to stay in the accommodation only. <laughs> I mean, for me, it was a different experience. It was a cooler ship. I felt like the crew was a little nicer. I really, really, really liked the food. And I don't know, it was kind of nice that it was shorter too. It didn't feel too long and it didn't feel too short. I don't know about you, because this is your first time. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I can't say that I could compare it to another experience because I'm going to be on a cargo ship, but it was very cool and I felt like I felt like I experienced 100% of everything, but just crammed into a, a small amount of time. Yeah, yeah, because I had a list of videos I was trying to tick off to show you guys the different experiences. And like, I think on day three, I erased like storm on a ship off the list. Cause I was like, it's just not gonna happen. We're in the Mediterranean Sea, it's sunny. It's not even, it's not like winter or anything. So I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting to be able to get like, an interview with uh, with one of the crew. I wasn't expecting to be able to make the food video the way I made it. But everything somehow ended up working out and I'm, I'm happy that it did because I think we created some awesome content. And that is it. That's it for this cargo ship journey. Yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that if you have not checked out Hugh's videos on it, you go watch his vlogs on it as well because he did a really cool interview with the guy Jose that drove us around today. And I want you guys to check it out because he's got a sick story. So make sure that you check out this boy's channel. And other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Please leave some more comments, suggestions, places that you guys want me to go on a cargo ship journey again. Possibly with this boy if he wants to do it again, if he's crazy enough. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, Clats. Bye, Clats. Love you, Clats. Love you long time. Bye, Clats.